uh, maniac. Of course, I'm talking about Zach Sheldon from uh, Trainwreck oh, Sports chimed in. He wants to know what's your worst professional experience. Oh boy, my worst professional experience. Okay, so. I don't know if this would count as experience. I could tell you something that happened to me that was just like terrifying and like, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. So <laughs> I moved to Buffalo in August, early September, 2011. And I'm, I'm literally, it's a Labor Day weekend. On Saturday morning, I get a phone call. Guy says, this is Jody McDonald, ESPN Radio in New York. Are you still ready to come on with us today? Now, have you ever heard of Jody McDonald? He's a radio talk show the host. Name sounds, He's the name sounds familiar. ESPN Radio. And he says, yeah. are you still yep. ready to come on with us today? And I go, I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean? He goes, yeah, we set up an interview, I thought, for you to come on with us today. And I'm like, I didn't set anything up. But if you want me on to talk, like, to talk about the bills, I'm like, if you want me on, I'll go on with you. But this is the first time hearing of it, right? He's like, <laughs> oh, okay. So let's, let's do it. So I said, what time? And he tells me like one o'clock. This is like maybe... 10 o'clock in the morning, he calls me, like one o'clock. I'm like, all right. So now I'm thinking, all right, well, they're going to have me on here. So I go and I turn on the computer so I can hear what they're talking about before they bring me on. And he, he goes to break and he says, coming up next, we're going to go to Buffalo, talk with Sal Capaccio about the bills. I'm like, okay. I'm waiting through the commercial break. Phone's not ringing. I'm waiting through the commercial break. Phone's not ringing. They come back on the radio. He says, all right, time to go out to Sal Capaccio in Buffalo, New York to find out about the bills. Hey, Sal, what's going on? And Pat, somebody else starts talking <laughs> and says, hey, how you doing, Jody? What's going on? Thick New York accent, too. And I'm like, this is not me. What, what is going on here? Like, this is on ESPN radio. And I'm like, oh my God. What, what, what is going on here? I mean, maybe he was just doing a local, maybe he was doing the local hour in New York that time. But you, you know, I'm like, wait a minute. So I pick up the phone and I'm dialing like to call back the number they called me from, right? They answer mm -hmm. the phone like the hotline. And I said, this is Sal Capaccio. I don't know who is on the radio, but that is not me. You guys just called me two hours ago. And I said, I was here and I was ready. And the guy's like, what? And he goes, hold on a second. He puts me on hold. While I'm on hold, I'm listening to this interview unfold. And the guy <laughs> they're interviewing starts talking about naked men in the locker room. <laughs> okay. And Jody's like, oh, 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 and he kind of cuts him off. And he's like, I, I don't know what's going on. What, and he stops for a second. The producer comes on. He goes, Sal, are you still there? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, hold on, man. We'll get you back on in a second. So then Jody's like, <laughs> all right, I don't know what that was, but I think we're really going to go to Sal Capaccio now. He puts me on the air. And I'm like, hey, Jody, I don't know what's going on, but how you doing? So the interview goes fine the rest of the way. So apparently, digging through, so he calls me after the show. Apparently, though, what happened was, Howard's, I'm sorry, uh, my, my program director who hired me, his name was Andy Roth in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Andy, they called, they said, can you give us a guy? Andy gave him two people. He gave, me, gave him me and Howard Simon. Apparently, someone mixed up the numbers earlier in the week, called me, but actually mixed up my phone number with Howard's phone number, dialed some other number and said to a guy who answered, Hey, this is ESPN Radio in New York. Would you like to come and talk on the bill about the bills on? And this guy, whoever answered, is like, "Yeah, sure, I'll do that." <laughs> right? So they gave him a hotline number to call at that time. So instead oh of them, God. so instead of them calling me back at one o'clock, they get a call from this guy who's ready to rock and roll and go on the air and be inappropriate, <laughs> and says, "Hey, it's Sal Capaccio." <laughs> That's one of the best stories I've ever heard. I, and the, I'm listening. <laughs> and I'm, my career, I had just moved to Buffalo. My career is a suicide right here <laughs> on national radio. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. But that's what happened. They mixed up the numbers. They called the wrong guy. The guy took advantage of it. He called the hotline number they gave him. <laughs> but when that they called me, they called the right number. <laughs> that's amazing, man. Is that, I think that uh, qualifies for a bad professional experience, right? <laughs>